guys and welcome back to another epi. I'm super excited for today's video because if you guys follow me on Instagram you would know I've been trying to film this video for so long but I decided to wait because I almost feel like it would be better because I'd have more stuff to show you guys and that's exactly what I have. I made sure to make a whole bunch of extra pages a bunch of weeks in advance so you guys would have more ideas. Now if you guys don't know what bullet journaling is, it's a journal that you use to organize your life. I don't know, it can be used in so many different ways. Some people use it for drawing, some people use it for planning, some people use it for tracking. I personally use it for like planning and tracking. As you can tell, I do incorporate drawing into it all because that's one of my favorite hobbies. And I'm just here to let you guys know what it's about, how to do it, tips and tricks. I have just, I've been bullet journaling for about six months now, so I think I have couple tricks up my sleeve I can show you guys. Before we start this video, I just want to tell you guys about this amazing app and website that you guys can use to help your bullet journaling skills improve. So it's called Skillshare. They are an amazing website where you can learn so much. Skillshare is an online learning platform where you can learn to draw, you can learn business tips, you can learn photography tips, videography tips, and how to be creative in so many ways. Skillshare has so many realms of anything of what to do, it can honestly fit anybody, and anybody could benefit from this website. So Skillshare is a website, but it's also an app, so you have really easy access to any online class you want. For me personally, I like to save classes that are about how to draw different ways, because I always love new handwritings to do in my bullet journal that's amazing it makes your bullet journal just bump up a lot also i like to learn how to like draw female faces i know i saved one and i really can't wait to watch that one because i have the hardest time learning how to draw faces like it's so hard and this just shows you exactly what to do and you can follow step by step and honestly you'd be surprised how good most people are at drawing you just need a little help along the way you know yeah i love skillshare when i'm doing my bullet journal because it really like i think bumps it up from a b to an a a plus actually. So Skillshare has over 25,000 classes and along with 7 million creators. That's a lot. You should hop on this bandwagon. So Skillshare is an annual subscription for less than $10 a month, but for the first 500 people to use my link will get the first two months for free. Might as well try it out guys. Now to the part you've all been waiting for, my bullet journal. So I started my bullet journal about six months ago, and my sister actually introduced me to bullet journaling. She started doing it, and I was like, ooh, that looks kind of fun. So then I started, and I really actually love it. I do it literally every day. This is the thing that bothers me so much when people look at my bullet journal. They're like, oh, I would never have enough time to do that. For example, you could be doing it at school when you're listening to the teacher. That's literally mostly when I do it. I always bullet journal at school because it's just easy and it's just something to do and I get so bored. I swear I have ADHD because I cannot be just listening to the teacher. I have to be doodling or something. Otherwise, if you're like watching a TV show, honestly, anywhere if you're just chilling in the sun, maybe on the boat, I don't know, like anywhere. So not enough time is not an excuse to not bullet journal. So I'm just going to take you on a little tour of mine, maybe tell you some insider tips. So first off, I got my bullet journal on Etsy see and it's just this cute little peachy pink print <laughs> but I do not recommend getting it I think this is the worst journal ever it has broken apart so many times and I'm not rough with my bullet journal guys like I'm like pretty nice to it and it just keeps ripping the back keeps coming off pages fall out all the time it's honestly terrible and I am definitely going to be scoping deeper in the bullet journal realm when I get my next one which will actually be soon I only have like <gasps> I only have like five more pages left oh my god stop I need to get on that but anyway let's just get into my book so my first page is just my name I first wrote it in cursive then I almost bubble lettered it out and then just dotted it around with dots to make it kind of cute but yeah, I just wanted to start off my book with my name, something like that. Then it goes into all my friends and family's birthdays. I actually really like how this turned out. I think it's super cute. I love when bullet journals are full of color. Like, this is so much fun to look at. Yeah, so I honestly really like this page. Then I have my video ideas, but I'm not going to show you them. Then I just have a year in overview. I saw this on Pinterest and I thought it was kind of cute. It's honestly kind of pointless. I was just bored, so I did it. <laughs> I just put all the months and then like big things that are happening in the month to kind of like get you excited for the year maybe, I don't know. Then I like to 
kind of track where I've been. I've been to actually like a decent amount of states. I want to make one of the world because I've definitely traveled like around the world also in like different countries and that'd be cool to like add. But this is just the United States. But another thing that I would love to fix about this is I hate how the colors are so neon. I would rather do um, colored pencils and like pastel colors. Pastel colors are my favorite. So yeah, I kind of regret that. Then, this is a page of my favorite songs. Don't judge me for my favorite songs, okay? These are just the songs that I think I will like for a long time. And that will be cool for a long time. Cool. <laughs> songs I just think, honestly, make me feel good when I listen to that. <laughs> but yeah, I obviously still have blank ones that are going to get filled in, like, later in my life. So as you can tell, it's just a lot of, like, random but fun, cute things to track in here. But I'm definitely going to be getting into more of my agenda style soon. Oh, look at that. Then I started to make my bullet journal into a calendar, kind of. And I honestly really prefer this over a planner at Target. Because you can adjust it to how you like and how you want things to be. And, and what the design is. And you can customize it towards each week. Like this week was Valentine's Day. So I, you know, made it all hearty lovey. Aww. Also, I realize I do bullet journaling when I'm kind of stressed out, and that happens at school a lot, so I just ignore it and just bullet journal. But yeah, I think it really helps me get out my creative side, but also calm me down. So these are just a bunch of moons I did. It's honestly just a drawing because I get bored sometimes. I saw it on Pinterest and it seemed pretty cute, so I want to do it myself. Then I also like to do title slides for every month. So this is a February title slide. Pretty cute. Kind of simple, but kind of like it. Okay, before I show you anything else, you may have already noticed it in the pages before. You may be currently noticing it. <laughs> I suck at spelling. Like a lot. Like you guys don't even imagine. Half the words in this book are probably spelt wrong. Thing is you think that one would know how to spell. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I literally spelled Chipotle wrong. How does one do that? I just, I suck at spelling, I don't know how to spell, it's a problem, so please don't leave a comment because it'll just make me sad. I already know I suck at spelling, I'm warning you guys before I show any more pages, so just, just ignore it. If you see something, maybe laugh in your head, please don't comment because I'll be sad. Okay, so then these weeks are honestly very boring. I just did like a very simple layout for them. I don't ever want to do this again. You'll see in like the back, towards the back of my book, I do way more drawing type styles. Then my other favorite thing to do is monthly mood trackers. And I think this really helps with reflecting on yourself and trying to be more of a better happy person. Personally, lately I've been struggling with that. I've been trying to surround myself with things that make me happy and honestly try to very much ignore the hate and everything. It gets really hard sometimes, especially when you're in high school. The place where all the bullies come out. <laughs> But it's fine, I'm working on it. I would say I have tough skin, but sometimes when it comes from people you know, your acquaintances, it just hurts more. This is not a sad video, we're not getting into that. But anyway, I really think this helps and it's really cute. I really like decorating each page. Then I have just this little like sketch. I saw it on Pinterest, so I kind of copied some but also put my own in. It's just like TV shows and stuff when I was a kid that I loved and... You know, it's kind of cute, it's kind of fun, kind of digging it. So yeah, as you can tell, you really can put anything in your bullet journal. Like, it's your bullet journal, you can put whatever you want. You can put a drawing of a giraffe in there. Who cares, right? So then this is just another um, week spread out. Kind of boring. They'll get better, trust me. Ooh! This is honestly one of my favorite mood trackers. So as you can tell, some of the mushrooms have two different colors in them which means like for the first half of the day I was happy but the second half it was like meh but yeah so I really enjoy this one I think it turned out really cute then I just did a packing list on here I made it kind of cute I really think that having this organized my life so much because before this I did never had a planner or anything like I've had a planner before but like at the time I didn't and I really think it like put myself in place, I do this every day, straightens me out a little bit, if you know what I mean. So yeah, then I just have my March title slide page and I just did like a Volkswagen. I saw this on Pinterest and thought it was cute, so. This weekly spread out is honestly one of my favorites. Also, it's super cute. I actually made this one myself, so. 
Another thing I like to do is think about what's coming up. So in this, it was St. Patrick's Day. So I decided to do a little bit of a theme of that. And then my next week, I have full on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I like to really coordinate what's coming up this month for some fun theme to put on my page. It makes it more exciting. So yeah, honestly guys, you can copy what I have. Like, I don't really care. I would love if you guys copied my stuff and make me feel cool. Now we're getting into zodiac signs. I just like to record all the zodiac signs on here and what they mean so I have easy access if someone like asks me about it. I can just be like, yo. Then it brings me into another weekly spread out. Again, this one is kind of boring, but I mean, sometimes you have to do that when you're in a rush and you're just trying to get something on a page for the week. And this is perfectly fine. Then, this is my April mood tracker. And I honestly really like this one a lot. It looks super, like, fun and colorful. Oh my god, yay! Then I just have another weekly spread out. Again, this one's kind of boring, so let's just skip over it. Then I have my April title slide page. And this one has kind of took a different, like, look. I have more information, if you will, on it. And I have, I don't know, it's just a little more different than usual. But I definitely still like it. These are just things that make me happy, something I did when I was kind of bored, so I was like, you know what, just gonna remember all the things that make me happy again. This page is full of words that are spelt wrong. Don't even read it, it's embarrassing. This is also one of my favorite weekly spread outs. It's so cute when I thought of it myself. Whenever I think of things myself and they turn out good, it's always like one of my favorites because I'm like, I did that in my mind. So then also one day I wanted to track which one of my friends was which sign, so I just decided to make a page of that. Obviously this is not all my friends whatsoever. I just haven't filled out and thought of every single one of my friends, <laughs> so that's why I have only a couple on here. <laughs> then it was prom week, so I decided to kind of theme it around that, although it's not really like a technically a theme. I just did it because I wanted something to go off of. If you haven't seen my prom vlog, make sure to check it out because it's really fun. I walked down the aisle vlogging, like down the Grand March aisle. Yeah, I did that in front of my whole school. Embarrassing. So go check it out. Then my May title slide page, and I actually really like this one. It's more simple than I usually do and more like classy, but I love it. Then this May week spread is honestly so cute. I'm obsessed. It's like bumblebee themed, but it's just so cute. Oh my god, I just thought about this. You guys would know what I did every day for the last like four months. That's kind of weird. Whatever. Then I did my May mood tracker and I made this one myself, but I don't think it's my favorite. I actually don't really like how it turned out just because the sunflower has so so many days and like these ones only have like five so it's kind of like uneven but i think i'm okay with it like i'm working with it it's fine <laughs> so then i started making weeks and months advance for you guys just so you had more ideas and stuff it's just a couple but i wanted to show you guys and include it so this is next week's spread out personally i kind of like it kind of don't i like when things are more like fun colorful but like this is like medium it's mediocre so then these are all just like my favorite things. I did little cartoons of everything, so it's kind of cute. This is for fun, I mean, that's what this is for, right? For fun! This week I actually love how it turned out. It's like paintbrushes going across, and it's so cute! I just think it's adorable. Then this one I also made myself, but I don't know if I absolutely love it. I think the idea of having butterflies was good. I just don't think I'm very good at drawing butterflies. I mean, I wasn't even looking at a reference picture, so this all came from my brain. Then I have this week in May, which is the last week in May, actually, and it's just a bunch of cactuses. Really simple. I usually don't like simple, as you guys know, but I actually love how this one turned out. I don't know why. Then we get into June. I know we haven't encountered even the end of May yet, but I just decided, as you guys know, to show you guys more examples of what to do. This is my June mood tracker, and I love how this one turned out, guys. It's the up theme, so it has like the house with all the balloons. Then we have my first week in June, and this is my last page, but I do think it's pretty cute. It's just a bunch of popsicles. As you guys know, I like incorporate like fun things instead of boring boxes, so I think this is really cute. 
I hope you guys learned some things, got some inspiration, and maybe inspired you guys to make your own bullet journal. I definitely recommend to. It's just fun and relaxing to do. Also, don't forget to use my link and get your first two months free on Skillshare. Also, if you guys like this video, make sure to comment down below and tell me that because I was also thinking of doing a bullet journaling video, like bullet journal with me and like we do pages together and like see if that would be fun. I don't even know if you guys would like this video. It just seemed to have good feedback when I posted my poll on my Instagram, so I thought you guys would like it. But definitely let me know if you guys are into bullet journaling or if you want me to shut up about it. But yes, thank you for watching and peace out, Girl Scouts!